eating mindfully for people who love food, wine, and eating out. I'm here at a great place for all three. It's called Cafe Classico. I ordered a cappuccino uh, and a glass of wine. Unfortunately, the wine came first, so I had to sit here and not drink it because um, I wanted to wait for the cappuccino. I've got a lovely salad here. This is the house salad, and I've traded out their white bread for my uh, whole grain bread that I brought myself. So that's what I've done so far. I'll check in with you later about more ways to eat mindfully. I'm back. We've had uh, we've ordered two lovely entrees here. One of them is the salmon croquettes that I have, and my husband has this beef tenderloin over. Uh, sweet potato medallions. The meal is so much more enjoyable if you will stop at points and uh, just put your fork down and really savor the chewing and tasting of your food, which is what I was doing earlier with my salad. And I'll do the same thing with these croquettes. Uh, and in addition to mindful eating and the health benefits, uh, it's such good manners to not just, you know, chow down and without looking up or breathing, uh, just get in some kind of automatic moving of your fork or spoon and eating. So that's what I'd like to pass along tonight. It's a simple thing. Everybody knows it. But you have to remind yourself to do it because if you're distracted or emotional or whatever, you'll tend to forget that. So that's my reminder to myself tonight. I want to really stop at points, just stop, enjoy the food, uh, assess my level of hunger, and then continue on, assuming I'm still hungry. In the meantime, plan to keep following me as I'm sharing more tips on how to eat mindfully. If you're someone like me that loves food, wine, and eating out. Good night.